This is huge. Is there any model which can beat GPT-4? Can it outperform GPT-4? That's exactly what we are going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about GPT-4 Turbo. This is really powerful. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to set this up in Python and run it. I've already covered the basics. I will link that in the description below. So inside the app.py file, import openAI, next client equals openAI.openAI. Now we are creating a response client.chat.completions.create. Now inside that function, we are giving the model name. That is GPT-4-1106 hyphen preview. This is GPT turbo model name. Next, we are giving a message and role is a user. I'm going to ask a question, who won the Cricket World Cup in 2019? And then print the response. Now we're going to run the code in your terminal, Python app.py and click enter. The Cricket World Cup in 2019 was won by England. Now we are going to create a user interface for this. We are going to use Gradio. So let's install that. Pip install Gradio and click enter. Now going inside the code, we are going to create a function, get open API response. Inside that we have the response variable and adding the question variable inside the content. Then we are returning the response. Next we are importing Gradio as gr, then we are creating iphase variable and then gr.interface and giving the function name which is get open AI response. That is the function which we created. It has an input as a text and output as a text. Now we are going to launch this iphase.launch. That's it. We have created a user interface for our chat GPT-4 turbo model. As a quick overview, we create a function and inside the function, we had the response, the model name, and we pass the question to the content variable. Finally, we returned the response content. Next, we use this function name in the Gradio interface function and input and outputs are text. Then we launch that. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and click enter. Now the application is running in this URL. I'm going to open that URL. Here is the interface which we just created. I'm going to ask a question, write a snake game in Python. Now we got the game. I'm going to copy this complete code and paste it in VS Code and let's test it out. We'll keep the Gradio terminal running. As per GPT Turbo's response, we need to install Pygame. I'm going to do that. Pip install Pygame and enter. I can see no error in the code as you can see now. In your terminal, python snake.py and click enter. I got the game ready now. I'm playing the game now. You lost. Press C to play again. It's really nice. It's very smooth. With just one prompt, I'm able to create this game and able to play how much advanced is GPT-4 Turbo. You can see that. The snake is still growing and you can see the score there. That is powerful. Now I'm going to create another game, tic-tac-toe game. Write a tic-tac-toe game. I got the response now. I'm copying this code and creating a file called tic-tac-toe.py and pasting it. I'm going to save this now. Now let's run this tic-tac-toe game, python tic-tac-toe.py. Now the game started, I'm going to type one and click enter. I got a small error in here now. I can see the board variable is not defined. I'm going to define that. Running python tic-tac-toe.py and click enter. Now I can see the game running. You can see the performance and I'm going to type nine and player X wins. Yeah, it's simple game. That's it. As simple as that. We created two games using chat GPT turbo and played those games. Similarly, we can create more games and more application from chat GPT turbo, which is more powerful than chat GPT four model. I'm going to create more video in regards to chat GPT four turbo. So stay tuned. I'm regularly posting videos about AI in my YouTube channel. Please go and have a look. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.